remember this scene. I shot this uh, a while ago. I was sitting on a toilet and I was uh, rather bored. Usually you go to 9gag or something on your mobile phone, you know, it's, you're basically you're just wasting time. Um, but last time I did this, I had this idea of mine, like, I can do something productive in this time. I can do something fun. So the idea came to me, what if you could watch of TED videos on the toilet? <laughs> so um, I, I made this, uh, this little device. It's basically just a few wooden planks uh, glued together with a, uh, well, a logo to it. And there's an NFC chip behind it. So what happens if you put your phone on it, then it starts randomly a, a TED video, which is currently hot at the moment. It took me like, I don't know, an evening or something to build this. Um, and it was fun, you know, I used it at my own home. And then I put it up in the, uh, in the bathroom uh, on the university. <laughs> and the, the fun fact was that when I was walking to the toilet, of course, I was watching if people were using it. Um, but people started talking about it, like, hey, have you seen this, this TED thing? Who made this? And I tried to, you know, kept it a little bit uh, confidential <laughs> just to see what happened. Well, a few days after it was broken, of course. But... Um, the point of this story is, um, I want to give you a message today, and that message is just code it. If you have the skills, if you can code, like you know, programming code, um, you can you can get something out of this talk. If you don't have the skills yet, learn it. Seriously, it will make your life so much better. And the message I want to give you is, why should you do that? Well, because it's fun. You can, it isn't too much effort. And you have no idea what's going to happen next. If you start coding stuff, um, you can't ever expect what is going to happen next. You just put it out there in the open, let people use it, and see what happens. So in my talk, I'm going to give a few examples of projects I did and where I'm currently standing because of those little projects. This is a pizza. Um, and as I'm a student, I live in a student house with my fellow roommates. And there's a website called um, Eating List, uh, loosely translated. And then you, you say, okay, I want to eat or I want to cook tonight. Uh, the thing is, everyone forgets that. So I end up eating pizza because no one wants to cook, you know, and it's too much effort. So then I thought, we have two tools here. You have this, this website and we have a WhatsApp group for our house. And nobody takes the effort to put in a WhatsApp group like, hey, you, someone want to cook tonight? So I made a, a bot. I call him Benny. Um, and it pushes your uh, notifications to your WhatsApp group. It's plain simple, basically. Uh, it takes the, the uh, message from the website, like who wants to cook, and it sends them to your house WhatsApp. Um, basically, still no one fills it in, but it gets a go it, keep, or it starts the conversation, so it, it keeps it going. And afterwards, uh, I wasn't eating pizza anymore, but I was eating with my, uh, with my house uh, mates. So by doing this for, I don't know, also coding an evening or something for my own house, uh, I saw that it worked. And then I released it to the public, so I made a website for it, and other people could sign up. And there are currently, currently now like 50 student houses or something using it. Uh, and they also tell me it works, and they ask for new features, etc. Uh, so I'm doing a little bit good for the world here, so selling less pizza. <laughs> Same with, uh, um, I was a, a board member of my student association, and we have this, this community room. And everyone asked me, uh, when we were there at first, like, hey, could you put up this song? I want to I wanna hear this song. And everyone has his other taste of music. So basically everyone was angry at me because I didn't put up the right songs. So I was thinking again, how can I solve this with, with technology? Because that's what I like to do. You know, use technology to solve real world problems. Well, my small problems, of course, but they are problems to me. So I made this, this website. We have a large television in our community room. Uh, where you can put up YouTube videos by your smartphone, and then it gets added to a queue, so people can collaborat uh, collaboratively choose music. And also there, the same with the, the previous story, um, I used it for internal purposes only. But then I saw that people liked it, and then I, I released it to the public. So you can go to ProTube, it's a website, and uh, currently uh, like 1,000 people uh, a month are using this tool for their own parties. I'm not earning anything from it. Well, there's a donate button, but barely anyone presses it. But that's okay, because I know that people are on Friday and Saturday nights. I can see a spike in the visitor count. So people are having fun with my tool, and that's basically why I do it. This is one of my personal <laughs> favorites. Uh, it's a little bit closely connected to the university. Um, there's uh, UT News. It's basically the, the news platform for the university. And they had this, uh, this column. It's called My Outfit. And they interviewed students uh, about their clothes. Well, personally, I'm not interested in clothes at all. Um, but people liked it. 
uh, the thing was, I, I played this game with my friends. When there was a new article, we opened it, uh, we put our hands on the study, and then we started to guess uh, what study the person in the picture was studying. Because there's, there are a little bit of stereotyping uh, around here, especially the people who sign up for this program. Um, <laughs> and that, that was fun. And then again, I was following a course, it's called uh, Game Design, and I was skipping it because I was uh, lazy and I was lying in bed. Uh, but I wa didn't want to feel guilty, so I tried a little experiment of game design on my own. So I made a, a, a game out of it, because you have this information, you have a picture, and you have the study. I can, I can write a program that extracts that information. It's really simple, if you know how to do it, of course, but then I made a game out of it. It's called Guess the Study. <laughs> and basically what it does, it, it collects all the pictures and all the studies of the people, and then it uh, shows them to you uh, in a specific order, and then with one correct study and three false studies. So you play it, and your score is displayed. So, of course, she's a hipster, you can see that, so she's studying industrial design. Um, <laughs> this was just a little joke of mine, you know, and <laughs> I'm not sure if she's in the room here, but... <laughs> <laughs> this was just a little joke, you know, and then what I do with that stuff, I you know I put it on Facebook and see what happens. And, well, this kind of went viral in the university, there were like over 200 likes here, everyone featured it. I've got 5,000 visitors in a day. Uh, everyone was playing it, that was, that was the fun part. Um, it, was, it was a little bit like the, the Hot or Not game, you know, which Mark Zuckerberg made when he before launched Facebook. I don't want to say I'm going to be the mar next Mark Zuckerberg, but it was the same stuff, you know, rating people uh, you know. So that kind of works. Um, this has taught me that if you do something fun, and something fun, you know, people like to judge other people and talk about other people, uh, people share this. This has been shared so many times, uh, and everyone has played it. So that's, that's a lesson it has taught me by just coding stuff, you know? I had this problem, I was doing it manually, you know, putting your hands on the screen. And then I thought, I can do this by code. So that's something uh, that's taught me, like, just code something and see what happens. I did never expect this. <laughs> this is also, I'm, I don't want to talk too much about all my projects, but this is one of my most fun and favorite ones. I, this took me two hours, because McDonald's had a new app, and if you installed it, you could get a free hamburger once. And I thought, <laughs> I can hack this. <laughs> so I made a screenshot of this app and they had a, a animations, you know, like the trawlers and everything was moving. So I recreated that in our, in my own web page and then I shared it among friends. So we all went to, to the McDonald's and got, got our free hamburgers. Then we got in again and again and again. <laughs> and in the end, we were all eating hamburgers. We just, we were just sick of the stuff, you know, but it was free. So it was fun. <laughs> so what, what I want to tell you by saying this is like, there is something in technology. Try to think, how can I use this for my own fun? You know, how can I make people smile when I do this? Um, same with Tinder. Uh, Tinder is an app where you can rate people. Uh, basically, it's, well, you could call it a hookup hook app or a date app. You swipe people you like to the left or to the right, and people you dislike to the left, and when you both swipe each other to the right, so you both like each other, then it's a match. Um, for me personally, that's highly ineffective. Uh, I was having a bet with my roommates about who could get the most matches. Um, because it was brand new and stuff, and you know, they were like, oh, I, have an, I have a new match, I have 13 matches, and I have 14. And I was like, ah, this is highly ineffective, you know, why should I swipe right uh, personally, or why, why should I do it manually? So I figured out how Tinder works. Tinder basically talks to, well, the Tinder server. Um, what if I put my laptop in between, see how Tinder works, and then recreate that same uh, protocol, basically the same language it talks. So overnight, um, I liked over uh, 100,000 girls. <laughs> and then the next day, you know, all these people like me. It's kind of creepy, maybe. <laughs> but <laughs> it was good for my self-esteem because my girlfriend broke up with me l the week before. <laughs> so it got me a few nice experiences. So basically there, you know, I was just having fun with my roommates and then I even uh, got a new girl out of it, you know, who I'm still seeing today. So. You don't know what hap what's happening. Um, my last project, which I'm currently still working on, uh, maybe a few of you have heard it. <laughs> um, it's called Homie, but it started three years ago because I was lazy. I'm still lazy, but I, you know, I like to code for three weeks to solve me of doing our days, uh, for, uh, solving a day worth of boring stuff. So this was my problem. I was lying in bed and I couldn't reach the light button, but I wanted to go to sleep, you know, and Nobody sleeps with the light on. So 
I could. I had two options. I could either go out of bed, you know, and turn the light off, or sleep with the light on. Uh, the first option was well, a lot of effort. Second option was also not comfortable. So, of course, I got out of bed. But that, uh, then I thought, I just want to say to my room, like, computer lights off or something like that. A little bit like Star Trek. Um, so the next day, I uh, I hooked up an Arduino to a remote control from the Action. You know, it cost like 10 euros. Um, and then the next day, I could do that. Because I just hooked up some libraries, you know, speech recognition from there, and an Arduino library from there. I just plugged them all together, and it worked. And over time, stuff got a little bit more professional. I even uh, wrote a blog about it on uh, the Dutch um, uh, tech website, tweakers.net, which got over 60,000 views or something, and a lot of comments who, of people who said, I like this. So basically there again, I've got this hobby project that just started out of laziness. Um, and then suddenly I, I felt that I could do more with it. That's when I, uh, I started uh, this product. It's called Homey. I'm currently working on it with my co-founder, Stefan, uh, and a team of engineers. Uh, we're currently developing it. Uh, basically, it's a device. Um, you can all find it on the internet. But it's a device, and it allows you to, to talk to your home, and it controls all your devices. So if you say, uh, Homey, I want to watch a movie, um, then it, wait, I've got a video of that. No, I don't. Uh, if you say, homie, I want to uh, watch your video, you know, then it uh, turns on your TV, it starts the movie, uh, it, it closes your, your curtains, uh, it turns off the lights, etc. So basically everything is connected. Um, and that, that was also a hobby project, but then uh, we put it on Kickstarter and we got 200,000 euros for it. So stuff got a little bit more professional there. Um, I don't think I could do that. I, I couldn't have made this video and the Kickstarter page without the hobby project of mine, because they taught me so many different things about how you know how to be uh, how to be fun how to hack stuff together to make people like it etc uh, and i think that's that's why i'm standing here right now if i didn't do this i wasn't invited here of course so the oh the fun factor Homie, sexy time <laughs> so what i want to tell you guys today just code it if you can't code, learn it. It's it's not so hard if, if you uh, as you think. If you can code, just do it. Don't stick around with your RDs. Just do it. You know, it, it will cost you an evening, but otherwise you you would have wasted that on Netflix or drinking beer. So just do it and see what happens. Thank you very much. Thank you.